An official from the campaign of Taiwan's leading presidential candidate has told Sky News he's expecting sophisticated attacks from Chinese agents. Taiwanese authorities are warning of foreign interference ahead of January's elections, and analysts say China's tax department is currently manipulating the contest. The billionaire tech tycoon, who may be Taiwan's next president, appears to be the target of a Chinese tax investigation. Independent candidate Terry Gore founded Foxconn, the largest maker of Apple iPhones. Chinese state media reports authorities recently conducted tax inspections on key enterprises of Foxconn just three months out from Taiwan's presidential elections. Yes, it definitely is election interference. Basically what they're saying is, is that they're very worried about the fact that the opposition to the ruling DPP is split three ways. It would be a catastrophe, as they put it, for the secessionists, as, as they call them, uh, in Taiwan to win the election and that it would be a disaster for regional peace and that everyone must do their part. That's the way the Global Times framed it. China has form when it comes to meddling in elections in Taiwan, a territory it claims as its own. In 2005 and 2016, Chinese authorities threatened tax audits against entities linked to the Democratic Progressive Party. Beijing fired missiles around Taiwan before the 1996 elections, and it's alleged Chinese agents spread hundreds of false stories during the 2020 race. <laughs> Vice President Lai ching du is commanding big crowds at campaign rallies and has a four-point lead in the latest poll. A senior campaign official has told Sky News his team is preparing for attacks from across the strait. The difficulty for us in recent years is they have become much more sophisticated. Instead of um, launching missiles, they engage in digital initiatives, they engage in disinformation, they foment unrest. I don't think that anybody is really potentially 100% ready. The best that we can do is to be aware of this situation and to be able to respond effectively and time in a timely manner. Analysts say spreading false or misleading stories is one of the easiest and effective ways to manipulate public opinion against candidates pushing policies against China's interests. Taiwanese agencies are expecting an increase in the spread of stories critical of the government as the election nears. It's worth noting that the claim China will secretly found candidate who favor Beijing is also a common tactic used to discredit political rivals during the campaign. So let's hold off on judgments until after the elections to see if Beijing's strategy actually worked. Senior Chinese officials hosted members of Taiwan's opposition KMT party earlier this year. The party denies it's receiving support from Beijing and says only its candidate, Ho Yo Yi, can secure peace. It should be said that Ho Yo Yi thinks that the two sides of the strait should have dialogue and exchanges in contrast to the current DPP government. We insist that the two sides of the strait should be equal, so the exchanges between the two sides best serve our country. There are reports Ho may form an alliance with the Taiwan People's Party's Ko Win Jiu, as Lai Ching Du retains his long-held lead. Though success in January may not rely entirely on the candidates, but perhaps also others outside of Taiwan. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.